Hi, I'm John with Saddle Point Systems, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to clean and maintain your Fastback Model 20 document binder. Cleaning is an important part of using the machine because it keeps the machine running well. Over the course of time, glue can accumulate inside the machine, and I can gum a couple things up, and what it can also do is make little marks on the spine of your book there. So, if it's time to clean your machine, uh, what you're going to want to do, because the machine does run very hot, is turn it off and let it cool down for a little while. You don't want to get burnt while working on the inside of the machine. The power switch is back here on the left. And then you're going to take the cooling rack off. In order to take the cooling rack off, this just lifts up like so, slides forward, and voila. In order to open the machine, you just take the back side of a pen or a pencil and you stick it through this hole here in the bottom right front of the machine. Push that in, the lid pops up, lift the lid up, and now we've got access to the inside of the machine. Uh, this is a metal latch here, so there's no risk of anything falling down. It's up and secure. You can see here on the heater, and again, this big red part here is the heater. That part can get very hot. Don't get burned. Do make sure you let the machine cool down. You see here on the heater, we got a little bit of glue on the edges. And this machine hasn't been cleaned in a little while. And sometimes you might see some uh, other clear gob globs of, of glue on the heater. In order to go ahead and clean off the glue, we use the manufacturer recommended cleaning product, Icky Sticky Stuff Remover. And a bottle will come with your machine uh, when it was new. And if you need more, just call us. And a uh, cotton pad here, you can use a cloth or basically whatever works. You don't want to use anything too abrasive on the heater. This is a Teflon coated surface. Anything that can scratch it will take off the Teflon. Um, this bottle is unfortunately not open. Open the bottle there. Apply some cleaning solution to your pad. It doesn't take a whole lot, but <clears throat> you can use it liberally. It's basically just going to go ahead and dissolve any glue that's on there. You want to wipe down the heater like so. You want to wipe down this cooling platen also. And the other places you're going to wipe down is up here by the backup bars because these are the jaws that grab the book. You want to wipe down this surface here and wipe down this surface here. If you notice the glue isn't coming off right away, just give it a moment to dissolve. Um, it will come off and you may have to wipe it two or three times if the glue has been stuck on there for a while. If the glue uh, is on there for too long, it will sort of turn a dark brown and black and it's a lot easier to remove if you do this regularly uh, while the glue is still more fresh. In order to get to the other side of the heater you've got to take the cooling platen like so and there's a nice sort of finger hole here grab this and lift that part up and we've now got access to the inside of the machine. Sometimes you can see a couple of strips maybe two feds were two strips were fed in at the same time, an extra strip might be down there. It's a good time to remove that strip and get it out of the way. That way it doesn't bend into any of the sensors or anything. And then in order to get to the front side of the heater, you take this black wheel here, rotate it a little bit, and that'll swivel up there, like so. And then you just wipe down that front side of the heater. Again, you don't have to get everything off. Most of the glue that's going to cause a problem will still be relatively fresh. That will come off with the with the cleaning pad. As long as uh, your heating surface is mostly flat to the touch, the machine's going to work okay. And while we're in here, what you also want to do is take uh, either a can of compressed air, or we use renewables, um, and just sort of blow out this area here. You can see in here you've got the feed roller and all these sensors in here. Just want to take some air and blast that out. And that'll clean that. Make sure once you've wiped down those surfaces, you take this down 
and that just sort of sets right where it was. And then you're pretty much done on the inside of the machine. Just lift the hood, pull this latch forward, and drop the hood. Set your cooling back rack back in place. Turn the machine back on, and that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching.